Welcome back to another weekly grocery haul and Welcome this week when does school start again? And this week, I'm sharing a meal plan with you as well. So this is everything that I got from Walmart this week for a little over $300. That seems to be the going rate for groceries for us now with prices <laughs> so high. So I did get a bag of apples. We just have a couple left, and I like to keep these on hand, obviously, for... Um, snacking, I will cut them up too and sometimes make like apple nachos with nut butter or something like that. Um, I decided to get another one of these Taylor Farms Everything Chopped Salad Kits. If you haven't tried these before, they are so good. What I normally do is I will split these in half and I'll make two lunches out of them. And I also add um, some chicken breast and maybe some fruit on the side, but they make a really great lunch, love them. I also got some angel hair coleslaw for a salad and then some bananas. Connor specifically requested those. I'm just popping in here to let you guys know that today's grocery haul video is sponsored by Warby Parker. I have so many pairs of their glasses. Honestly, I have an embarrassing number of pairs of their glasses, but I love featuring them here on my channel because I personally use their service and can vouch for them. And I know many of you have used it as well. So if you are looking for prescription glasses or even prescription sunglasses, even contact lenses, definitely check out Warby Parker. Warby Parker offers everything you need for happier eyes and you can shop with them either online or in stores. Their app is super convenient because you can actually virtually try on glasses to see if you like the frames before you order your home try on. Also, one thing I love is that their glasses start at just $95, including prescription lenses, which is a huge <laughs> savings for those of you who have gone to the eye doctor to buy glasses before, you know how much of a savings that is. This pair of glasses I actually got from Warby Parker. It's called the Marin. And I also like that they offer wide widths. I have a big head. I don't know why. So I really <laughs> like that they offer those. But I'm going to share with you what came in my home try on today. So these are the Haley. These are very like vintage-y. I kind of have a pair like this that you guys have commented on before. Um, these are the Ava. You know, definitely lots of different colors of frames that they offer to suit your needs. This one is the Waylon, and I actually like this one too. I kind of have a pair similar to this, except they're a lot larger, but I almost like these a little bit better. And then this one is my favorite out of the box that I got. In fact, I'm probably gonna be ordering these. These are the Hues, and I just love the tortoise, I don't know, is this tortoise shell? I don't know, I love the coloring on here. Um, I love that they fit really well. They're just super comfy, so those may be the winners from this particular home try-on. If you guys wanna try out Warby Parker, I'll have a link in the description box below. You can get your free home try-on, which means you get five pairs of glasses to try on at home for free. There's no obligation. They also include a prepaid shipping label, so all you have to do is peel it off, stick it on the box, and send it back. It's super easy. You can go to warbyparker.com slash Jen. I'll have that link in the description box below along with a pinned comment. Super easy to remember, warbyparker.com slash Jen to get your free home try on. Now let's get back to the grocery haul. I got some celery to possibly make chicken salad, but then I also just like to have it cut up in the refrigerator as well. Um, I got one zucchini and one uh, yellow squash just to have maybe for a side for dinner one night or for a lunch. Not sure what I'm gonna do with these, but we'll figure something out. I got some basil because I've got some mozzarella pearls in the refrigerator and I thought I could make some caprese. So one package of basil, one pack of mint, and then some dill just for any salads that I want to make this week. Um, I got some of the Bright Farms Spring Mix. I've bought this before and it's pretty good. I don't know. This is looking pretty wet, so I may open up the package and put some paper towels in there so it doesn't go soggy quickly. Um, I got some radishes just for salads and veggie snacks. So Connor has really been liking blackberries, so he'll be excited. I got two containers of those. I got a container of blueberries, and then I also grabbed a pineapple and some grapes. I'm gonna try and make some fruit salad. I was thinking about making like individual ones in like little jars or maybe just a big one. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. Um, I got some mini cucumbers. We love having these on hand for salads. And then two of the Constellation 
um, tomatoes. I think I'll use one of these for a veggie tray and one of them for a caprese salad. I got two mangoes, uh, some limes, four limes because I was all out of those. One avocado, which is super hard as a rock. <laughs> And then some cilantro. I always keep this on hand because I pretty much use it every single week in something. And some uh, mandarin oranges, which we were all out of these and the kids love snacking on those. And obviously they're home now all day because it's summertime. I did decide to get some corn, so we'll see how this is. It's not really sweet corn season yet here in Iowa, but can't be that bad. <laughs> we'll probably grill out one night this week, like burgers and hot dogs and I'll probably make this as a side for that. Um, I got some raspberries and then three one pound packages of strawberries. Um, I have been liking to eat these also, along with the blueberries in my yogurt. Um, I got some broccoli florets. I just like buying this pre-washed because I find that it's super convenient, um, especially like this week. I'm not gonna have time to do a ton of prep um, prep work this weekend. So that will be good for that. I got a bunch of yogurt. So if you're a Walmart plus member and they have a thing on there where they give you like rewards back if you buy so many of each item or whatever. So it said, if you bought 10 of these yogurts, you got $5 back, which I thought was a pretty dang good deal. So I just decided to stock up because we do use these in smoothies. I use them in yogurt bowls. So I got kind of a mixture of flavors. I got strawberry cheesecake, lime, uh, peach. The peach one is really good if you've never tried it. Apple pie, tiramisu, banana. Yeah, if you've never tried these, um, I do really like them. They have a good bit of protein and only 80 calories in them. So they're a good snack. I got some Fairlife milk. I got one chocolate and one skim milk. I actually saw where someone made ice cream out of the Fairlife chocolate milk and their Ninja Creamy. And now I'm like, do I need a Ninja Creamy? I don't know. <laughs> I don't have one, but if you guys have one, let me know if you like it and if you use it. I've seen people make some awesome recipes in there. So I've been kind of thinking about getting one, but I haven't pulled the trigger yet. I got some applesauce pouches. Connor really likes those. Some buttermilk. Um, I've been trying to perfect kind of like a low calorie ranch dressing situation so i'm going to use that for that and then any leftover we'll probably make pancakes or something um, i got some half and half just for coffee kira specifically asked me for the cracker barrel sharp cheddar cheese so i got some cheese cubes um, the two percent prairie farms cottage cheese i like to have this for breakfast with my eggs every once in a while and then um, i did get some new little jars to make the copycat starbucks sous vide egg bites so hopefully i can show you guys that in an upcoming video i got some turkey pepperoni some sliced pepper jack cheese for sandwiches and some sharp cheddar cheese for sandwiches i actually bought <laughs> do you guys remember the ham and cheese loaf from when you were a kid. Um, I actually got the ham and cheese loaf because Adam likes to have it on sandwiches for lunch every once in a while. He'll just take that in like a can of soup and they did not have it. So they substituted this chopped ham, which Adam is probably the only one that will eat this, but that's fine. I'm sure he'll eat it on sandwiches in the next couple weeks. I got two packages of the Great Value Hickory Smoked Bacon. This was cheaper than the Oscar Mayer, so I figured I might as well try it. This is a new item that I saw on the site, the Market Side Smokehouse Burnt Ends Dip. I've tried a lot of their different dips before, and most of them are pretty good, but sometimes they have like a packaged taste to them. I did open it and dip a Triscuit in it just so I could tell you guys how it is, and it's really good. It's a little bit spicy a little bit sweet it really does taste like barbecue beef um, it's definitely not super healthy um, so I probably won't be eating much of it but definitely uh, a good treat if you're into dips and things like that um, I got a couple packages of turkey gravy I have some chicken breast in the refrigerator so I may do a meal this week of like hot turkey or well actually be hot chicken sandwiches with gravy because I've got some leftover mashed potatoes so I don't know, I just wanted to have those on hand. And then I got three of the Jack's Thin Crust Pizza. These are a super quick lunch for the kids. I just cut up some veggies and some fruit on the side um, and they can have this for lunch during the week now that they're home. So I got one pepperoni, one sausage and pepperoni and one sausage. Hot take, honestly, I know this is not like great quality, but this is my favorite frozen pizza. 
<laughs> I don't I don't know why I like it so much. It's just like it like people are like, oh my god, it tastes like cardboard. For frozen pizza, you know, it's not bad. Um, I got some hash browns. I like having these on hand for breakfast on the weekend or even if I want to cook up some during the week as well. And then I got some dried beef. So I keep this on hand for creamed chipped beef or as some people call it, shit on a shingle. Um, it's also good if you spread a little bit of one third less fat cream cheese in it and roll it up. You can have like one serving for only 90 calories and it's got a decent bit of protein in it. So anyway, just a, something to have on hand there. Um, I got the Goya adobo all-purpose seasoning. So I've never purchased this before, but I was watching someone's YouTube channel and they were saying that they like to season their meat and veggies with this. I did not mean to get such a large package. <laughs> so let me know what you guys use this for if you use it. Um, it just says it's an all-purpose seasoning with salt, garlic, black pepper, oregano, and turmeric. So I don't know. I assume you could really season anything with it. Potatoes, meat, vegetables. So let me know your favorite things to do with that. Um, I got some vinegar. So we ended up having to get an ice maker because our refrigerator is a giant piece of crap. It's a Samsung. Don't ever buy a Samsung refrigerator. And so what we have to do every so often is clean this out with a mixture of vinegar and water. And obviously we're out of vinegar. I also keep vinegar on hand just for cleaning produce and different things like that. So I keep a smaller container up in my cabinet and then I just refill it and keep this under the sink. Um, I got a huge jar of the Knorr uh, chicken flavor bouillon. I love this stuff. I cook with it all the time. It gives such good flavor to soups and just a lot of different things that I make. Um, I decided to get the larger package because I have a small jar in my spice cabinet that I can just continue to refill. And then I also saw this on um, the Walmart uh, site while I was ordering my groceries. So this is Skinny Girl Popcorn. It's 10 mini bags and per each bag it's 160 calories, lime and salt flavored. So I'm looking forward to trying that. It sounds delicious. Um, I got some of my favorite protein bars. These are the Strawberry Power Crunch. If you haven't tried these, my Walmart does carry them and they are really, really good, especially for a protein bar. I think personally they just taste like a wafer cookie and they've got 13 grams of protein in them. I saw someone using this on YouTube also. This is the Skinny Girl uh, Asian Sesame Ginger Dressing. It only has five calories per two tablespoons. I think it's probably similar to like the Walden Farms stuff. They said it was really good. So I got that to go maybe with the um, spring mix and the cabbage. I've got some almonds in the pantry. I don't know. I'm just kind of thinking of maybe like an Asian slaw style type salad I can use it with. So hopefully that will be good. Um, I got some more of these Starbucks caramel K cups. These are my favorite brand of Starbucks coffee. If you've never tried the Starbucks caramel, I highly, highly recommend it. Um, it's not too strong. It's a medium roast and it's not sweet or anything. I just really like the flavor of it. I got some pretzels and some tortilla chips to restock the pantry. And then I've been liking to get this oven roasted chicken um, deli lunch meat from Walmart. It's actually really good. Um, I got some of the Thomas blueberry English muffins. These are really good with a little bit of almond butter on top or even just regular butter or plain. Really good if you've never tried them before. I got some of the chicken thigh fillets for a chicken recipe that I'm gonna make. My sister convinced me to try chicken thighs rather than chicken breasts, so <laughs> we'll see. And then I got a pork roast for some, uh, a, an instant pot carnitas recipe that I'm gonna make. Some frozen corn um, for a side dish for dinner one night. And then I also got some of the Joseph's lavash bread. These are really good if you've never tried them. They make good pizza crusts. I like to use them as wraps for lunch. Um, they're pretty low calorie and they've also got a good bit of protein in them. I got some of the Flips milk chocolate covered pretzels. Um, Connor specifically asked if I could get chocolate covered pretzels. So I was all out of vegetable oil. This is another thing that I just keep a small container of in my kind of oil and spice cabinet. I really don't use vegetable oil that often unless there's like a recipe that calls for it with baking um, or I'm deep frying something, which I obviously don't do super often. Um, so I like to keep a big jug of it and it lasts me 
quite a while, but that way if I am gonna deep fry something, then I have it. I got some spicy chicken patties. Kira specifically asked for these because I guess they have them at school for lunch and she really likes them. So <laughs> I don't know if these are the same, but we'll try those out. Some Diet Coke, some more napkins. Um, I got some of these Eggo mini cinnamon toast. These are actually pretty good. I don't like eat them regularly or anything, but they're pretty good. Obviously the kids like them too, but I do highly recommend this frozen edamame in the pod. It cooks in the bag in the microwave. I have it with salt and soy sauce. It's super delicious. And then I also got some salted in shell peanuts. Adam specifically asked for these. And then these were the jars that I got to make the sous vide egg bites. I actually am gonna make them in our sous vide. And these are the perfect size for that. I believe these are four ounce mason jars. So got some of those. And yeah, that's everything that I got from Walmart for a little over $300. Now that I've shared the grocery haul with you, let me share with you what is on the meal plan for this week. So Monday, we are going to do steak and chicken fajitas. That just sounds really good. And I'm probably gonna make them on the grill with some peppers and do some Spanish rice. Tuesday, we're doing BLTs with caprese salad and corn on the cob. I feel like that's a very summery meal. Also, uh, sometimes I still get questions on this meal planner. Some of you guys asked me if the carryall meal planners have been discontinued. I am not sure because I haven't ordered one in a while, but I know that one time she had them on Amazon. So I'll find the link and link it down below if you're interested. I don't use this religiously every week, but when I do use it, it makes my life a lot easier. I also have a meal planning class. If you're interested, I'll link that down below as well. Tons of videos, resources, lots of fun over there. Wednesday, we're gonna have chicken sandwiches. Uh, and then I am also gonna make fries. I have a bag of fries in the freezer and some broccoli on the side. Thursday, pork carnitas bowls. So I have a that pork roast. I'm gonna do an instant pot recipe and we'll probably have that either in like, I don't know, we'll just do like either tortillas or salad or whatever anyone wants. That's something super easy. And then Friday, we always do pizza night and Saturday, Sunday, I normally don't plan that this far in advance because I'm just not sure what's gonna happen on the weekend, but normally I just make something from what I have here in the house and you guys see that in my weekend prep videos. So don't forget to check out Warby Parker, get your free home try on warbyparker.com slash Jen and I will leave that link in the description box below. And if you wanna see my last grocery haul, which had like four grocery hauls in one video, like four for the price of one, I'll link that right here on the screen.